are fun to watch. They've got enough skill level to carry their respective teams to victory. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup at the power forward spot. Number four might be one of the best floor leaders in the country right now. His counterpart tonight is also a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. for the tip. Tips up, and the game is on, baby. Looking for a good shot. A little two-man action. Anthony handles the feed. Ten on the shot clock. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle, can't connect. The point guard with the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. He may be in some trouble here. Rose may have escaped one there. Jackson handles the pass. Kicks it out. Tries for two. Up and in. That was absolutely phenomenal. Here comes the ball screen. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. Number 44 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Besides pushing the ball in transition and getting quick scores, Dick, what are some of the other things we can expect to see from up-tempo teams? Well, you need to have some great athletes, Brad. Guys who can get up and down the court and make plays going at incredible speeds. With the freebie. First one is good. Second one is no good. Oh, that's charging. Great defense, Brad. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass up. Kicks it out. The skip pass is picked off. Anthony handles the pass. Goes up for two. Foul charge. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He makes it. They've got a player spotting up on the tree. They might have him in some trouble here, Dick. He's trapped, Brad. Turns it over. Looking for a good shot. The shot from the baseline. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. 
King may have escaped one there. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble, gives it up. Terrific job, but there's the charge. They got the charge on the call. The charge. They did a great job denying the ball. Number 31 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. A great trap initiated by the defense. Jackson may have escaped one there. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, terrific job on the defense to beat in the spot, Mr. Nestler. The fans start to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court in battle? Number 32 is called for the foul. Fourth team foul. Oh, this man's in trouble. Rose may have escaped one there. Rose handles the pass. Gave it up. Eludes the trap there. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The offense can't get that break going. These boys have really done their homework. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. Escape the trap. That trap could spell some trouble. Jackson may have escaped one there. Rose may have escaped one there. Jackson receives the ball. They work the perimeter. Ball goes out of bounds. Riley comes in for his first go round tonight. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The drive right there. Good penetration. The running Rebels are cranking things up at the defensive end, and they're going to extend that pressure. An aggressive move on their part, Brad. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Number three, set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. Opportunity now for an easy one. Makes it. Number 32 gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. Inside. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Steals a pass. Whistle for the foul. the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Chance for an easy one. Makes his first. Got him Oh, he drained it. Left him on my line. NBA. They've got him trapped. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass out. Trap could spell some trouble. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Timeout's called. Dick, you think the coach is trying to slow up this run a little? Absolutely. He looks calm over there on the sideline, but I bet he's steaming inside.
Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Weber may have escaped one there. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. Trying to feed inside. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Grabs it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. The running Rebels are on the run. That's a good-looking bucket out of the transition, Brad. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. The quick shots, Brad. That's why the tempo meter is where it's at. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. Intercepted. Now in transition. court he goes up with it you can't get away with that chance to get an easy one here gets the first they're seeing them all fall from the line tonight that's a crucial plus down the stretch Brad They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Rose may have escaped one there. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. He's got hops like you, man. he got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. For two, the lane. Defense is virtually non-existent tonight, Dick. I mean, they look confused out there. They don't look like they know what they're doing. Puts up the J. And score it. This one deserves another look, Brad. Point guard with the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper left side. He takes another bench. Basket's good. That's goaltending. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, both coaching staff expected this to be an even matchup. Who will throw the first punch? And how will the other react? Thanks, EA, our third member of our team providing that additional insight. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Johnson handles the feed. Tan on the shot clock. He shoots from left of the circle. Knocks it down. the pass he puts up the three ball the Wolverines have got to continue to get him the ball that is on fire on the elbow they feed down to the low block really well there, Brian. Weber handles the feed.
The Wolverines are now in the bonus. King goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits his second. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Well, this man's in trouble. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots, and it's in and out. Momentary look from three-point land. He comes up empty. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Gets the J to fall. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the jam. Continue to track the game's tempo. That's exactly what I was thinking, Brad. The pace of this game has been remarkable. The running Rebels are really looking to turn up the pressure and the overall game tempo with this press, Dick. I tell you, it looks like they want the tempo to be at the higher end of the spectrum. This will definitely impact the pace. They're working around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Pushes it up. The running Rebels look like they want to use their defense to speed up this game. You know, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the horses. Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense to play full court defense, Brad. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Passes it out of the trap. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ten on the shot clock. Tries for two, off the rim and no good. He hacked him. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Misses the second shot. Look at that spacing. Passes it out of the trap. Cross court. Picks off the pass. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. 
Coach has been pretty active over here on the sideline, providing some quality feedback to his players. I overheard him saying that he really likes the manner in which they've been playing. The up-tempo style is what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. There he is, strips the ball loose. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Kicks off the lazy pass. Jackson receives the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Eludes the trap there. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that react to this. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The point guard gets the pass. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass out. Goes up for two. Got to control yourself. at the charity strike. First shot, good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's two at the charity strike. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He passes it out of the trap for two. King is feeling it right now. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Got to give that five-second call to the defense. Howard handles the feed. King may have escaped one there. Working it around the perimeter. Number 32 grabs it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks out there. Yeah, that helps. Great pass out of the trap, Ryan. Picked out of the air. I think this one's going the other way. Good call by the refs. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Escaped the trap. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. For the bucket, the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. On the dribble, gives it up. student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Picked off. Number 31. Tomatis play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotional. He couldn't be much lower on it. Brad, he's at what many people call a fun. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around.
Cross court. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. A great trap initiated by the defense. Passes it out of the trap. He may be in some trouble here. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Pushes it up. so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. Now work it around the arc. Oh, what a strip, Brad. The running Rebels looking to attack in transition. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the jump shot. Nice looking jumper in the lane. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Two for one opportunity. Gray receives the ball. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. The running Rebels seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dick. Hey, look out for the full grow pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. Jackson may have escaped one there. Shot clock is dead. Here they go into the break. Tries for two. Foul call. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love it. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Of emphasis of yours. These guys have been doing a great job with the points. 
I emphasized at the beginning of the game. If they keep this up, they'll be fine at the end of the game. Thanks, Mr. Vitale. We'll see how they adjust their style of play for the second half. UNLV is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad. This kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatch. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. Weber receives the ball, takes away the pass. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Rose may have escaped one there. Traps in place, Dick. Howard may have escaped one there. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Cross court. shot clock foul charge everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going is that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders the mascot everybody involved they're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. A great trap initiated by the defense. Great composure to pass it out of the trap. Up and inside. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. And a slam. He's a human space 
position. He's all out of space, Mr. Nestler. Can you believe it? Looking to move it around the perimeter. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Rachel. I tell you what, you better be able to establish close play because that gives you inside-outside action. Spencer, and he gets the rejection. Spencer looks to be down emotionally. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, it's bringing him down. The small forward gets the pass. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They've got him trapped. Ooh, trapped really well there, Brian. He passes it out of the trap, kicks it out. For two, way off target. Joyce receives the ball. At the top of the circle. Off the mark. The small forward receives the pass. For the bucket, you can't get away with that. Well, Mr. Vitale, I know you like bench productivity. What are your thoughts so far on this one? Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. You're only as good as your 12th guy. Almost always holds true that statement. Well, your bench play plays an important role in games, but also in practices when they're expected to push the starters. Competitive practices will result in better game performances. And the better game performances should result in more wins. Second one, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Escape the trap. Tries for two. The lane. A great trap initiated by the defense. Great dodge one there, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Gets the rejection. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. Off the rim and no good. The shooting guard with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. A little two-man action. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. On the outside. And the fans are going wild. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Bust the J. That trap could spell some trouble. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. May have escaped one there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. For two, up and in. Pushes it up. They go 
with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's crawling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Pushes it up. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The shooting guard receives the pass. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He makes the first shot. from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. A great trap initiated by the defense. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Brad. Tally receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. And in and out. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. We've seen a combination of both short and long possessions here, Brad. Nothing wrong with that if that's your team's ideal style of play. And he'll kick it back outside. Puts up the trade. Way off target. inside he intercepts it number 31 handles the pass they work the perimeter shot clock number 32 handles the pass tries for two they still don't score there's the tempo for the game thus far the tempo is definitely on the slower side something that works well for some teams and not so well for others Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler the lane traps in place Dick escape the trap Great trap initiated by the defense. Riley may have escaped one there. On the outside. Ten on the shot clock. Number three receives the pass. He wants a three. A little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if he can convert. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. Thanks, EA. Aaron Andrews providing that extra bit of insight for us. They've got him right where they want him. Richard passes it out of the trap, pushes it up. Now in transition. That's going to be a five-second call. Credit that to the defense. Oh, 
The running Rebels have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on a court. Well, whose team Temple will win out? That's the question right here, Dick. You know, Brad, Temple is always important. Every team has their philosophy, and it's up to the players to follow the game plan. Number 22 gets the pass. Eludes the trap there. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper. Strong rebound. Good rebound position. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Now on the run. Good score on a transition, baby. Up and inside. Open for a shot. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Isn't it great, Brad? Excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition opportunities. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Front work to me. That's all rebound it is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. Number 11 receives the ball. For two. Up and in. No one seems to be able to guard this kid. They're letting him create space wherever he wants. Rice receives the ball. For the bucket, number 22 picks up the foul. Fifth team foul. Steps to the line for the freebie. He hits it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Makes his second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Number 32 takes the feed. He'll take the shot. He can't get the hoop to fall. Go into the low block with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. Hey, dodge one there, Brian. Pushes it up. He passes it out of the trap. 
the small forward takes the feed. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. And he missed. Number 22 takes the feed. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. Picks off the pass. Okay, here we go. Hit the middle of the whole squad off the two-on-one. In terms of balanced teams, what might we expect from them game to game, Dick? They try to really get balanced in that they'll get some points with tempo by creating a little fast pace and then slow it down and executing a half-court set and getting high-percentage shots. Timeouts call on the court. Well, now that everyone knows what to do, it's time to get back on the courts. Indeed, Mr. Nestler. The coach has everyone up to speed on where they need to be and what they need to do. But it'll be up to the players on the court to get the job done. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 11 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. They'll throw it in from the side. up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. It's the second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Great composure to pass it despite the trap, Matt. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. Well, it's simple. They came out executing a game plan and ended up on top. For two, the land. Traps in place, Dick. That little trap really well there, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Wide, wide open. He misses the bomb. Up and in. Moving around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Eludes the trap there. Number three takes the pass. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass out. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For the bucket. Foul called. At 
the foul line. This is the first. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Great pass out of the trap, Brad. Passes it out of the trap. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. That's a great spin move to the basket. Got him right where they want him, Richard. Escape the trap. Eludes the trap there. There was no doubt about that one. Look at that spacing. Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Gets a second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 31 takes it away. Goes up for two. They won't let that go. the line he buries it they have found their stroke at the strike tonight dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch oh, he converts on that free throw line that's major he may be in some trouble here he escapes the trouble and makes a pass up Shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. He misses a second shot. Riley handles the pass. Trying to pack it inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys were reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. He passes it out of the trap. The power forward gets the ball. He tries the jumper. You gotta control yourself. Oh, he 
drained it. That's him with nylon, NBN. A great trap initiated by the defense. Hey, dodge one there, Brad. The point guard gets the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important when you do the offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes the feed. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. They're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. They're working around the arc. He unloads a three. Off the mark. They're sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition opportunities. Well, during pregame, we emphasize some points, and likewise at the half. Dick, now your final thoughts. These points of emphasis are a great guide for a team. Whether you're an up-tempo, half-court, or somewhere in between, you must do the things which will make you successful. One skill which is often overlooked is the ability to play to your strengths and not to your weaknesses. It's a must to play your style of play and to do the thing to make your team successful. UNLV wins by a huge margin tonight. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody. All right, thanks for checking out the video. We're going to plug the scores in here and take a look at the um, take a look at the rankings here. Uh, I may rework the um, the ranking formulas because uh, for some reason UCLA got dominated in that first game, 98 to 64, and somehow they moved up to first. So there's something going on with my formula, so I'm going to have to look at that. But we're going to plug this one in and see what we get. Yeah, it still kept them in first, even though they got shellacked in the previous game. So we'll have to take a look at that formula and make sure it's uh, calculating properly. Uh, and we just plugged the Michigan UNLV in. And UNLV went down one. To, or no, they stayed fourth somehow. Michigan... Did drop from six to thirteen. So yeah, I gotta look at it. It's not consistent for some reason. But anyway, looking at that and having mentioned it already, we'll move this over here so we can see it. Actually, let me go ahead and get out of this game here. And we will also be back later with some college football. Uh, I thought about doing it before the pros tomorrow but i got a bowl tomorrow night so i don't want to i don't want to be streaming for i don't think so we'll probably do that later today let me find this so i can end it there it is end. Try and close out of that all right look want that all right so what we can do also is we can go up here now and go to schedule and four. And there are all your scores from that week. And if you want to get a better look at that, you can pause the video there. And we're going to advance it to this week. It's coming up week. Uh, it be two weekends from now. Uh, we are going to go every other weekend uh, just because of how many games I have to play between the three series. So, And this one, <laughs> you cannot fast forward play it, uh, whereas the other two on the PS2 emulator you can. So 
we'll be doing it that way going forward. Um, depending on whether I want to put something in here to indicate the bigger matchups. Although to be fair, those two matchups were in the, they were the top two and, uh, and they did not live up to that building. Uh, UNLV and uh, 1991 UNLV and 2003, I believe it was, Syracuse, they look like they could actually be in the final. If they, they made those other teams look uh, mediocre at best. Uh, and then we also have the Razorbacks, uh, 94 Razorbacks, who are 4-0. Um, these rankings may change. Once we look at the formula, because obviously it's not working right. There's no way, absolutely no way that um, UCLA should have moved up to first there after getting trounced. Uh, and that was 95, I believe it was. I'm not, they might not play this. Oh, no, there they are. 95, number one. Yeah, that's not... That's not, uh, I, I don't know how that formula came up with that, but we're going to look at it uh, off stream. See if we can't get it situated so it's uh, a little bit better. Actually, 89 Syracuse also. I got to change orange men to orange also. Uh, but 89 is 4 0 as well. So the question is, is it, are any of the teams that they are on their schedule going to be able to beat them? Uh, but that'll be interesting to see. Oh, look at that. Number six, Illinois, and number three, Kentucky. That's an interesting thing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and close out of that and flip over to season, uh, week five. So there's all of the... There's all of the games that are over. I think we made it 90? No, 85 we made it. So a lot of... A lot of big matchups coming up in uh, uh, for game five, although they're not ranked at all. How are they that high? May have to change back to 90, but I've seen a few that didn't have very many, so that's why we went with 80 or 85. Uh, that's the only one that only has one team ranked in the matchup, though. That's interesting. That's all going to change when I change the ranking formula anyway uh, to try to get that to look more accurate because, again, there's no way 95 UCLA moves up to first after getting trounced in that game. But somehow the formula says they did. So we will take a look at that. Uh, I think it's because we're dividing by three, which is how many points you get per win. Uh, in the calculation and it really should be divided by the number of games played but when I do it that way the formula messes up and it doesn't want to populate so I'm gonna have to look for a different way to do it so well I'll come up with something that'll hopefully be a little bit more accurate I was gonna try the college football uh, formula for whatever I have um, on the other series but I think I had tried that before and it wasn't properly either but i'll take a look at it again if not we'll revamp the formula i might revamp it anyway i had a thought uh, during that last stream as to what i want to try but that's here nor there right now um a lot of big matchups coming up uh it looks like all the way down to 32 is currently two and two i'm a, i'm a guessing by the time we get to you know game 20 or whatever we'll start seeing some separation in the top 32 and bottom 32 but we'll see uh, or somewhere in there maybe the top 25 and then separated in between that and the, and the rest of the 32 that might get into the tourney but we'll see uh got to get the formula right to begin with so i got three i got four four and oh teams i believe one two three no, I got five LSU, 1990 LSU. I got six, 57 North Carolina. Okay. Uh, so yeah, see that shouldn't that shouldn't be that high. That's incredibly high. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that formula. 
Uh, having said that, um, I do want to try to come up with something that'll kind of keep these intermingled a little bit, but there's no way that they got beat by 30 points that they should be in first. So we're going to look at that. But anyway, enough said about that. I keep going back to it. It's bothering me. That's why I apologize for repeating all of that. Um, anyway, um, I don't have the Madness matchups and the rankings up here active yet. So that's why we're looking at this page here. And then we also have, and I think it'll be a little bit more legible once I get it into that um, user form. Um, but we do have it here as far as what they would be if we had it going today. But again, the, rank, the rankings are not right, so I'll have to look at that. And that would change this matchups slightly, at least some. So that's what we'll be doing uh, maybe during the week. I'm not sure when we'll do it. Might do it later today or maybe after the streams tomorrow. But um, this is what we're looking at. Uh, and I, so far, I'm looking at doing these games on screen actually i need to because the rank actually i'm going to do it i think i'm just going to plug the scores in and then whatever their rankings are after those other games are played i'll just use that for the for the label um i was thinking that i wanted to have it what they are coming into the that week or game whatever you want to call it um but i don't i don't think it really i don't think it's going to affect much i do think those are the games i'm going with for game five in two weeks so we'll see about that i do want to look at syracuse here right and change that go ahead and do it so i don't forget because i will forget if i don't do it now so i want that to be mm -hmm. Orange. Spelled correctly, hopefully. So the two, I thought we had one more. Is it yet? I guess we just have the two. Alright, so if we go back over here for that, and then we should see orange over here. Yeah, so we're good. All right, uh, we'll see you in a bit with the college football series. I uh, hope you guys get a chance to tune in and maybe you can catch this later on YouTube, be on there later. Uh, it'll be available on Twitch as well later. We'll talk at you next time. Peace.